You go. Okay. <clears throat> Welcome to the 2021 South Puget Sound Regional Virtual History Day Awards Ceremony. This for the last time ever. Okay. Uh, we're being supported here today by John Bukiter, Bukiner. <laughs> And he's uh, doing the recording for us and putting us up on YouTube. And so we'll continue to stumble along here. Let's get to the award ceremony. Oh, first, we must thank our teachers. Everyone, teachers, please in the room, stand up, stand up, take a bow. Round of applause, round of applause. Hooray! Teachers sacrificed you. Those are, no, they didn't sacrifice you. Those have sacrificed for you and taken the extra step and miles that you rare few who actually participated and kept History Day alive, uh, you're the ones who are the true pioneer spirits who overcome hardship. Also, if there's any parents in the room, would you please all stand up? Yep, yep, oh, applause, applause, applause for parents. Hooray! Parents, fantastic. Parents, of course, have been suffering with you at home all the time um, and uh, not being able to send you away to get some peace and quiet. Uh, so the fact that you've managed to pull off these incredible um, uh, projects under these incredibly ridiculous conditions is a tribute to all who participated. I, my heart specifically especially goes out to all you exhibitors uh, I've always exhibited them and close to my heart for the History Day forever. And, uh, of course, the idea that, you know, you would create this wonderful uh, project uh, that's meant to be interacted with and touched and displayed, and, and you don't get to bring it anywhere. I mean, I, I was thinking about Michelangelo. You know, he carved you know, David, and then he was only allowed to submit a sketch. You know, that would be terrible. Or some architect who, who builds this giant, beautiful model and only gets to show the concept drawings. I mean, you poor exhibits, you have suffered so much. All right, but let us get to the actual award ceremony. Uh, we have all of our uh, finals decided by our judges. Thank you again to the judges. Judges applause. Okay, um, and here we go. Our first category is Senior Performance Group. And what do we see? It's empty. Nobody entered, my God. If you had gone senior performance group, you'd be heading to state right now, to virtual state. So same also with um, senior performance individual and junior performance individual. Remember that next year, those are tend to be all performances, tend to be under entered, and it's the easiest path I always told my students to get to nationals. And there will be a nationals next year, and we will be in person next year. And, and all of this will be a miserable, Forgotten memory. All right. <laughs> In real stuff, we have junior performance group. We had one performance this year, and it gets first place. The ASL network, including Kazaya Phillips, Micaiah Raymond Rivera, Savannah Rogers, Natalie Berry uh, from Cedar Heights Middle School with the teacher John Lee. Your first place ribbons are in the mail. <laughs> Huzzah! Okay. Oh, that goes back in the folder. All right. Our next category, junior historical paper. Here we go. Junior historical paper. And the winner in first place from Kent Mountain View Academy Hannah Jung, any relationship to Carl? Probably not. <laughs> Communication in history through petroglyphs, which are really cool. Petroglyphs are cool. Keith Henry is the teacher. So congratulations, and let's hear it for the petroglyphs. That paper is going to state. Um, in senior historical paper individual, we have in second place, from Charles Wright Academy, teacher Tom Kramer, the student winning is Nawal Ahmad. Nawal Ahmad going to state with the miscommunication of takes giving. 
And in first place, uh, from Patricia Estrada, the literary voice of the Filipino Americans, how Carlos Bolasan communicated the plight, identity, and dreams of Filipinos in America. Again, Charles Wright Academy takes this one with teacher Tom Kramer. All right, next category, junior documentary individual. We had several uh, wonderful um, um, entries. And so in third place, from Ezra Thomas from Covington, Washington and Kent Mountain View Academy with teacher Keith Henry, the How Rosie the River ca Riveter Campaign Recruited Women. Again, third place, How Rosie the Riveter Campaign Recruited Women. In second place, also going to state, Images of Mohammed, communication through cartoons. They're with Kaylee Justina Ignacio from Rainier Middle School with teacher Megan Gray. Next, in first place, empowering the deaf through choice and communication. Caitlin Manor from Rainier Middle School with Megan Gray again as the teacher. Congratulations to all three of you for your advancing and documentary category to state. Um, senior documentary individual. Again, three to state. Third place is T T Tin Tron. Tin, Tin Tron. The invention of the telephone and its importance to communication around the world. From Kennedy Catholic High School with teacher John Wright. In second place, Nazi propaganda, advertising, and deception. Uh, Anissa Eng, again, Catholic Ke Kennedy Catholic High School with teacher John Wright. And in first place, how a struggle for power changed the English language. Sarah Rie, Kennedy Catholic High School, John Wright. It is a sweep. Next category, junior documentary group. All right, the journey to land a man on the moon in first place, junior group documentary. The students are Caden Shul and Noah DeVera. Rainier Middle School with Megan Gray as the teacher. First place, off to state, virtual state. Um, senior documentary group. All right, in third place, senior group documentary, Deciphering the Japanese Code, a key to an American victory. Uh, from Kennedy Catholic High School, it's Eva Franchowitz, Preston Bale, Cody McKenna, and Johnny No. Again, Kennedy Catholic High School teacher John Wright. Second place, Cracking the Enigma Code, Why It Was Crucial for Victory. Emily Rangel Lanes, Katie Holser, Caitlin Barnes, Kennedy Catholic High School, John Wright. And in first place, Understanding History Through the Language of Hip Hop, Kennedy Catholic High School, Nadia Ray and Ray Williams. John Wright, teacher. All right, another fine sweep. You me? <clears throat> Junior websites, individuals. Again, a large category. So, in third place, how the television was used to communicate with the world. Taylor Matthews from Kent Mountain View Academy in second place. Mangini versus R.J. Reynolds, clearing the air in youth advertising. Derek Morgan from Rainier Middle School with Megan Gray. And in first place, Christine Jorgensen, Trans Pioneer, uh, project by Kaylana Cruz, Rainier Middle School, Megan Gray. Again, congratulations. Your ribbons are in the mail. 
Okay, senior website individual. Third place, how the Pentagon Papers affected Citizens Trust in the United States government. Joe Peters' website from Kennedy Catholic High School with teacher John Wright. Second place, presidential communication from radio to Twitter. Andrew Noah takes a wonder, wonderful idea stab at that from Charles Wright Academy, Tom Kramer. And in first place, the Big Burn, a new conservation conversation from Ali McDougall from Charles Wright Academy, teacher Tom Kramer. Excellent websites all. By the way, uh, there will be, I'm sure, I hope you had a chance to see uh, the uh, showcase uh, that uh, your teachers let you know about a couple days ago, and you've had a chance to look at these things before you he heard the award ceremony. Okay? So if not, you can definitely look at them after the cer ceremony. Aww. Junior website group. All right. In third place, X's message. Em Emery Gould, Tavina Sandu, and Samara Davis. From Rainier Middle School, teacher Megan Gray in second place. How the Transcontinental Railroad changed communication forever. Will Valerio, Sawyer Broom, and Candon Altiana, Altiane, 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 Altiane gotta be Altiane. Okay, uh, with John Lee as the teacher from Cedar Heights Middle School. And in first place, a second plane hit the second tower. America is under attack. Um, project by Harleen Cower and Rachel Marshall. Teacher Megan Gray. You know, this thing goes a whole lot faster when we don't stop for them to come down from the stands, run on it up, get the ribbons, shake hands. Kind of sad, actually. I look forward to doing that again next year. Okay, here we go. Senior website group. Nazi propaganda, how communication when used to control public opinion seems to be a very popular topic this year. Um, students Brian Tran, Hans Reichkopf, Liam Breer, and Ella St. George from, teach, uh, from Kennedy Catholic High School with teacher John Wright. Uh, junior, wait, what was that? Yeah, there's only one. First place. That was it. First place. <laughs> All right. So um, for junior exhibits individual. Um, and oh, God, we're in the exhibits already. Oh, OK, here we go. Um, junior individual exhibit. Third place. Child labor. The voices behind the picture. Nicole Dayrit. Rainier Middle School. Megan Gray's the teacher. Second place, The Origin of the Alphabet. Samantha Sachs did that one from Nova Middle School in Olympia, Washington, with David Fuller as the teacher. And in first place, Morse Code. Aliyah Gustafson from Nova Middle School with David Fuller as the teacher. Very good job. Senior Exhibits Individual. Final placement. In third place, Female Spies in World War II, done by Anna Parker and Kennedy Catholic High School. John Wright's the teacher. Second place, Pay It No Mind, The Stonewall Uprisings, Changing LBQ, LB, LGBQ Plus uh, Activism in America. Get it right the fourth time. Charlotte Callanan, Kennedy Catholic High School, teacher John Wright. And in first place, Communication Transcends Tyranny, Latin America's Male Art Movement. And that's M-A-I-L, Male Art Movement. Taylor Yingshi, Issaquah from Issaquah High School. Jacqueline Beller is the teacher. All right, 
junior group exhibits. Junior group exhibits in second place. World's Once Won a War. No, that's not what it says. Words Once Won a War. The American Revolution. Makes much more sense. Okay, that's from Rainier Middle School, teacher Megan Gray, with students Laura Jacobs and Rebecca Main. And Rebecca spells her name correctly. All right. Uh, first place, Braille Independence Through Communication. Uh, Katrina Adams and Harmanjeet Sidhu. Again, Rainier Middle School with Megan Gray as the teacher. And the final category, Senior Exhibits Group. Final placement. Um, yeah. Progressivism, the ideology in fourth place. We have a fourth place to this one because there are so many entries. Fourth place, progressivism, the idea, the ideology that changed America by Steele Gunthry, Julia Bentler, and Sarah Ramirez from Kennedy Catholic High School with John Wright. Third place, Stonewall, communication through protest for LGBTQ plus rights. Slow down to get it right. Abigail Mose and Samantha Smith from Normandy Park with Kennedy Catholic High School and John Wright. Second place, the, the fight for suffrage, Kennedy Catholic High School with Claire Baxter and Maura Brennan with John Wright as teacher. And in first place, heading to state as is everyone else, we will not be silent how the Mississippi movement led to the Voting Rights Act of 1965, done by Grayson Haley and Samuel Scott Scoville, Kennedy Catholic High School with John Wright. All right, all of those I mentioned today, fourth place to first in this category and, first, and third through first in the other categories, all advanced to the state contest. Speaking of which, Note from Hannah Tofty, state director. Um, the story case, yada yada yada. Um, there's a dead dead deadline in here. It said, um, yeah, somewhere. Oh, oh, here we go. The deadline for registration and project submission is Tuesday, April thirteenth, twenty twenty one, at nine p.m. Okay. And you definitely email Hannah Tofty if you have any questions at hannah.tofty at k12.wa.us. Also, of course, I'll be sending directions to your teachers on how to make sure to advance, uh, how, how to um, make sure you can A, um, properly register, and B, how you get access to your evaluations, which teachers and uh, students will both be able to get simultaneously personally just by going to registration when they're released after you watch this video. Um, and also you get notification from the state that you won when they advance you to the state contest, which will happen after this video airs. Uh, in light of that, um, I think that's pretty much everything other than to say next year in Jerusalem, no, not Jerusalem, next year in Auburn, in real person, in um, 3D with able to shake hands and do interviews. Ribbons are in the mail. <laughs> and keep on history. And that's a cut. That was great. That was great. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> no, it really was fine. It really was good. God, it's so fast. Yeah, I mean. There's no pauses for applause or anything. <laughs> there's, there's, no, there's no end to it. It just keeps going well, and going and going. Like well, a well, just, you, you just wait. I'll, I'll edit it up. Okay.